to get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Pepper. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. Oh. The light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. But do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. <laughs> I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> what makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. 
I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knots, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa's Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. Peppa and George are going to post their letters to Father Christmas. Here are Peppa's friends. Race you to the post box. Yahoo! <laughs> the children are all posting letters to Father Christmas. What have you all asked Father Christmas for? <laughs> a scooter. <laughs> a toy spaceship. A little guitar. A toy mouse. A skipping rope. A trumpet. A bat and ball. George has asked for a toy train. <laughs> and I would love a yo-yo! <laughs> it is Mr Zebra the postman. My goodness, a lot of posts today. They're all our letters to Father Christmas. It's very important that Father Christmas gets them. He lives at the North Pole. Yes, I can see that. Well, if I'm off to the North Pole today, I can't stand around chattering. Bye. Bye. Peppa, George, <laughs> we're off to get the Christmas tree. Hooray! <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. This is Miss Rabbit's tree shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello there. We'd like to buy a tree, please. What sort are you looking for? Please don't say an apple tree or a cherry tree. I don't have them. We want a Christmas tree. Phew! I've got hundreds of them. These are the littlest ones. We were looking for something bigger. This is our mid-range. Still not big enough. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? They look lovely to me. And this is our biggest tree. Perfect. Jolly good. I'll ask Mr. Ball to carry it to your car. Mr. Ball! Ooh. Hello, everyone! <coughs> big tree, this one. Got a big car? Uh, yes. So, where's your car? This is it. Oh, our car is quite small, isn't it? Daddy's just going to have to choose a smaller tree. No need for that. I'll carry it home. It can't be that heavy. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Daddy's been gone for ages. I hope our tree is OK. Mm. What's that mm. noise? Uh, it's Daddy! Uh, with our tree! Uh, 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 Hooray! Uh, 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 Daddy, was the tree heavy? It was a bit heavy, yes. I hope the tree fits in our house. Don't worry. I'll make sure it fits. It is a lovely tree. Thank you for carrying it all the way home, Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Let's get it decorated. Peppa puts the glitter on the tree. It's so glittery. 
George hangs the baubles. <laughs> Mummy Pig fixes the fairy lights. And Daddy Pig puts a star on the very top of the tree. There. Ooh! Little star on the Christmas tree goes twinkle, 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 twinkle. <laughs> what a charming song. And all the little piggies on Christmas Eve go oink, 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 oink. Lovely, Pepper. Now it's time to... Wait! There's more! Oink, <laughs> oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Sweet little star on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Maybe that's enough singing. Do you know what day tomorrow is? Christmas Day! <laughs> Here's a little snack for Father Christmas. Daddy, why does Father Christmas come down the chimney? Why doesn't he just eat the front door? <laughs> Good question, Pepper. If you see him, you should ask. But Father Christmas won't come unless you're asleep in bed. Up you go. <laughs> I hope Mr Zebra gave our letters to Father Christmas. I'm sure he did. Danny wanted a spaceship, Susie a scooter, Pedro a guitar. <laughs> can you remember everything your friends asked for? Of course I can, Daddy. It's very important. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Sleep well. George, let's stay up all night and see Father Christmas. George is asleep. Well, I'm going to stay wide awake all night. Ooh. Pepper is asleep. What was that? Flying past the window. And what was that noise? George, there's a loud banging noise coming from the roof. It is Father Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas just has a few more presents to deliver. Pepper wants a yo-yo. George wants a train. <laughs> Why do they make these chimneys so small? Oh. Oh, no. Father Christmas has lost his list. Oh. Why are these chimneys always so sooty? Ah, I see someone's left me a mince pie and a drink. Delicious. Ho, ho, ho. George, it's Father Christmas. Ah, hello there. And who might you be? I'm Pepper. And who is this very smart young gentleman? It's only George. Pleased to meet you, George. <laughs> Are those presents for George and me? They might be. <laughs> Can we open them now? You have to wait till morning. <laughs> Father Christmas, how do you know what presents to give everyone? I have a list. Uh which I seem to have lost. Oh. And I only had a few more to deliver to Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Pedro That's Pony... easy! Susie wants a scooter, Danny a spaceship, Pedro a guitar, Emily a toy mouse, Zoe a bat and ball, Candy a skipping rope, and Rebecca a trumpet. Thank you, Peppa. You're most welcome. Right, let's get these last presents delivered, which means climbing back up this confounded chimney. Father Christmas, why don't you use the front door? Door. Galloping goblins. What a good idea. Bye-bye, Pepper and George. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <sighs> Wake up, Pepper and George. It's Christmas Day. Daddy, Mummy. We saw Father Christmas, and he left us these presents. George has a toy train. Choo-choo! And Peppa has... A yo-yo! <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Happy Christmas, Peppa! Happy Christmas, everyone!
everyone. <laughs> I got a scooter. I got a spaceship. A little guitar. A toy mouse. <laughs> a bat and ball. A skipping rope. A trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> everyone got what they wanted. Father Christmas is very clever. Well, actually, it was me who told him what you all wanted. Don't be silly, Peppa. It's true. George and I saw Father Christmas. Here are Granny and Grandpa Pig. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. I say, look at those big boot prints. And there's more of the same boot prints on our roof. You see, it's true. I saw Father Christmas. Wow! <coughs> Happy Christmas, Peppa. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas Fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <coughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa. House. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. 
Peppa and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, Merry joyful, joyful greetings, festive happy cheer. Carol singers, always full of Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. Peppa Pig! Santa's visit! It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comics! And tangerines! <laughs> Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas pudding is delicious. Pepper and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Pepper? Yes. I wished for. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 <laughs> oh, so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our 
chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My dog! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm. Yummy! And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Mr Potato's Christmas Show. It is Christmas time and Peppa and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr Potato's Christmas Show. We're here! <laughs> Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madam Gazelle? I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro! Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> 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 Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree Potatoes, carrots and cranberry It's a very special Christmas with all our friends Well, the magic of vegetables never ends That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everybody! That was a bit quick. Wait, there's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes! Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Um... Jolly good. Ho, ho, ho! Merry 
Christmas. Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! Peppa Pig. Father Christmas. It is almost Christmas. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? <sighs> Peppa will be the Christmas fairy. I want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> Now, you can all practice your parts. It is the next day. Pepper and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look. It's Father Christmas. Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello. It's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes. We are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse, and Danny is you. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Will you come and see our play? Uh, I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please! I will do my best. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre, and he didn't tell me. Oh. Pepper and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look, it's Father Christmas again. Hello, and who might you be? Peppa. <laughs> You haven't forgotten. Forgotten? No, no, no. Good. So, you will come to the play? Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy. Father Christmas. <laughs> I am the Christmas nurse and I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. Wow! Can we see your sleigh? Uh, well... I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true, I am very busy. But of course you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park. Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, go! Whoa. This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa. Let's do a loop-the-loop. Uh, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. <laughs> Peppa and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. 
I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Airplane! Yeah! Oh, what a fantastic Christmas. <laughs> yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Pepper, yeah. George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Pepper, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the X-ray. Ooh, what's the X-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. It work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The X-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, good! At last! Ho, ho, ho! <gasps> Father, Father Christmas. Christmas! Father Christmas! Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas! Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no, I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat! Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh dear. Tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick checkup. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho! Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Not very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready! <laughs> Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Peppa is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. Put Peppa to bed 
and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Yeah, Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Peppa must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Peppa have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Peppa. Oh, but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. <laughs> can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Peppa's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <coughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Pepper seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Daddy? Well, <coughs> Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca? Could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr. Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, oh, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited today. It is snowing outside. Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? Yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are making footprints in the snow. <laughs> Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's not funny. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. Oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. <laughs> George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep it warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Achoo! Daddy, why aren't you wearing your hat and scarf and gloves? I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. I think I know where Daddy's hat, scarf and gloves are. Daddy Pig's hat and scarf and gloves are on the snowman. Oh! Pepper <laughs> 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 Pig. George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George. Do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa, George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. 
<coughs> That's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello. Where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Ice skating. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Pepper's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Pepper wants to ice skate too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie-daisy. Ho-ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Pepper how to skate. Skating is easy, Pepper. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. 
see. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <gasps> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes. You did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig Cold winter day It is very cold today. Peppa and George are wearing their hats, scarves, coats, mittens and boots. <laughs> Look, George, the trees haven't got leaves. In the winter time, the trees lose their leaves. <laughs> Peppa and George have found a muddy puddle. Ooh. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Me first. <laughs> it is so cold, the puddle has turned to ice. It is very slippery. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Here are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Oh, good. A muddy puddle. Daddy Pig loves jumping in muddy puddles. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> that was close. Lucky I've got such a good sense of balance. <laughs> Daddy, the puddles are icy today. We can't jump in them. Never mind. Let's feed some bread to the ducks. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding the ducks. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We've got some bread for you. The ducks like bread. <laughs> It is so cold, the pond has frozen to ice. <laughs> the ice is very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs Duck, but it did look quite funny. <laughs> it is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Susie, that looks fun. 
We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. <laughs> oh dear, George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. <laughs> it's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Pepper. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a race. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Here we are. The top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we are going to win the race. Hooray! Pepper and George are the winners. Daddy makes a very good toboggan. <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny, Daddy Pig. Hmm. I suppose it is quite funny. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madam Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Pepper. Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. 
Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt-flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Ooh. Peppa Pig. Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Hey, <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> It's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow. Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Ooh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit 
cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Peppa and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles! It is Dr Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles! Thank goodness you found him. Oh, naughty tartice. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <laughs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise. He's up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh! I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops. Silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. 
thank you for saving us too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh! <laughs> Peppa Pig! Snowy Mountain! It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone! Hello, Peppa! Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top! Come, come on, car! You, you can, can make, make it! it. Oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> In the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high, in a chair, flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Skis! Skis! Get your skis here! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? <laughs> Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla! That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now. Which Mummy or Daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My Mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My Mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Mummy, did I loop the loop? That was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup 
belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Chinese New Year. It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today we celebrate Chinese New Year. What's that? It is when we welcome in the new year with parties and dancing and fireworks. Ooh, we, we love, love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle! Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I'm 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 they say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. <laughs> Pepper and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are making a dragon. I'm giving the dragon scales like a fish. I'm giving the dragon googly eyes. <laughs> We're giving it the horns of a bull. Bull? Oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Bull. Will the fireworks be ready for the dragon dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly done. The dragon is finished. Hooray! Now, who wants to carry the dragon? Me! me, me, me. Who wants to carry a lantern? Me! me, 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 me. We need music too. Who wants to bang a cymbal or a drum? Me, 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 me. And I have made a lion costume to lead the dragon dance. Ooh! But who's going to be the lion? Ooh! The fireworks are ready, Madame Gazelle. Mr. Bull, would you like to be a lion? It would be an honour. Hooray! <laughs> The dragon dance has begun. This is fun! <laughs> the parents are here to see the dragon dance. Wow! This is amazing! Yes, but where are the fireworks? Oh, the fireworks! I almost forgot! a lovely firework display. Hang on, there's more than that. Wow! This is the best Chinese New Year ever. Peppa loves Chinese New Year. Everybody loves Chinese New Year. <laughs> Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, 
One, two... There are not many places to hide on Pirate Island. Five, ready or not, here I come! Found you! Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? <laughs> George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George. <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. Ah, <sighs> my new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry. Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. <laughs> Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. Pepper and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Just dance already. <laughs> this one is still blinking. You're out. You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. Yeah! So Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> yeah!
Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yeah. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. Granny <laughs> Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water. Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world! Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh! First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> Now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. The pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. <coughs> the pumpkin is impossible to lift. <coughs> I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very Come quickly! I'm on my way! All the children...
children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to play group. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. Uh, here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, birds, one, two and three. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig, I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy! This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? Oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes, sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves boating on the lake. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. 
Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. We've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grumpy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. Hello, Peppa. Hello. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No. It is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh. No, it's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. <laughs> Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <laughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yum. Yummy! We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, 
Have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak! Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. Kylie Kangaroo <laughs> is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! <sighs> I love to travel, but there's something I really miss when I'm away. What, Daddy? My darlings, of course! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hanging up my captain's hat for good. Let me tell you all about my travels. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No. I held on tightly. Wow! What an adventure! It was. And I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh! Presents! Here is a drum for Danny from a faraway jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye. 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 Good luck. Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all. Pillows, scented candles, yoga music and enough food for three days. <laughs> Don't panic! Don't panic! Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside, then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry, having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. 
What? Squeak Daddy! You missed all the excitement! Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both! <coughs> We've got baby twins! Wow! It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello! Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names? Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> Rockin' Gazelles? Hello, Madam Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party! A party? What fun! We'll be there! Good, everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I will sprinkle the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh. It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper! All I said was no playgroup next week. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Yeah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! 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 Mummy, did I loop the loop? That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. 
I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Ho, oh, oh, ho, ho. No, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> And you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Muggy puddle! <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. Ha -ha! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Me, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Pepper? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Pepper? I need to make a castle. OK, why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <laughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? 
She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madam Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! Yes, yes! Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Today, we are making a pond. Ooh! We start by digging a big hole. <coughs> Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a gnome <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa! How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure! How exciting! I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Who can that be? Special delivery. Ah, this could be... Yes, it's the rare stamp I sent off for. It's a big box for just a step. Did it cost a lot of money? Shh, Granny Pig doesn't need to know. Right you are. There should be a stamp in this drawer. No stamps, Granny. We'll just have to carry on looking downstairs. What a beautiful stamp. 
And in perfect condition. Never been used. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh... What's all this mess? Oh, now I'll take it to the recycling. Look, Granny, a stamp for our postcard. Ah, good. I knew we'd find a stamp somewhere. George, would you like to lick it? <laughs> Stick it on the postcard. <laughs> now it's time to post your postcard. <laughs> Send it off, George. <laughs> Mr Zebra has come to collect the post. Um, did anyone see a stamp on the kitchen table? Yes, Grandpa. We stuck it on our postcard. Ah! My stamp! Stop! Stop! Come back, my stamp! <laughs> oh, my goodness! That stamp wasn't meant to be used. Why not, Grandpa? Well, it was a, a special stamp that I bought for my collection. Oh, so how much did it cost? Uh, not much. Ah, that's all right then. <coughs> and anyway, it's not lost. The postcard is going to Pepper and George's house. Oh, yes! I'll go straight there and wait for it to arrive. Uh, 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 my stamp! My stamp! <laughs> Grandpa Pig has arrived at Pepper and George's house. Oh, Grandpa Pig. I haven't missed the post, have I? <laughs> Special delivery. Oh, my lovely stamp. Actually, this is for Pepper and George. <laughs> A postcard! Yippee! <laughs> um, Grandpa, because our card has your lovely stamp on it, would you like to keep it? Oh, thank you, Pepper. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. <laughs> we need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <laughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Papa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! 
The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you okay there? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha! Right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong. No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night-night, Grandpa. Night-night, <laughs> Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! <laughs> How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Peppa. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I've found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something! No, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> Here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun. No. <laughs> key, key. George wants to find the key. Oh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key. Hooray! <laughs> Now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No. George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. Oh. You found something really big. 
It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs>